Hey guys and welcome back to Oblivion. Uh where we last left off, I think we'd um just rented a room after getting information from Olav the bastard barkeeper. And he told me that Gelaborn, who was um one of these three uh mates who discovered an alien relic, I think it was, um was killed by this Raynor um the so-called Vampire Slayer, who also killed Brayden, the man whose murder we're investigating. He also claimed that Gelleborn was a vampire, so it's pretty obvious at this point that he's using this vampire cover story to get the keys to the chest where they stashed the artifact. It's time to speak to Caius Renelius about Raynor. He must be stopped. Hmm. So I'll go and do that. What time is it? Oh, it's, it's only early afternoon. Okay, so I, I slept in. I had a big sleep. I've been very tired. It's been several episodes since I slept. Oh, people are actually in the tavern. I'll have a talk to these fine people. Though I was just thinking, it'd be cool if you could go to Skingrad and see if that guy was sl slain there or not. Today's your lucky day, so let's hear it. Hello? Who are you? I'll sit down on this chair and have a crack with you two, uh, Nordic brethren. It's just like the old days in Skyrim, isn't it? Anyway, hello. I'm Hanman. I'm a prospector. Alga's my woman, Nord style. None of that chapel wedding nonsense. Right, okay. Uh, what do you know about Reynold Drellis? Yes, the vampire hunter. As far as I know, he just showed up recently here in Bruma. Not only that, but he already found a vampire among us. Apparently, Braden Lyrian was one of those vile creatures, and Reynold slew him. Kind of strange, though. I never figured Brayden to be a vampire. He seemed to be such an likable fellow. Okay, what room is you know? The Emperor and his three sons, dead. Right under the noses of the Imperial Guard. It's a disgrace. It is a disgrace. Fucking idiot. And what about you, Ongar? That's a cool name. Ongar the World Weary, what's your crack? While you're guzzling down that mead from ridiculously large tankard. Tell me crack. Ongar, the world weary, they call me. I've been everywhere and done everything. Now I'm settled down for a good long rest. Hope we don't include Argonians in that list. Anyway, what do you know, rumors wise? Anyone looking for work should consider the Fighters Guild. I hear they're always looking for recruits. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> Not my style. Right, uh, I'm not going to talk to Olav, he's an arsehole. I'll talk momentarily to Alga. Oh, you're that guy's uh, non-wife, aren't you? Hello, I'm Alga. I'm a bard, and as Hanmund is my living partner. No offense, but I don't want to hear about any Mara Mother Mild and Chapel family business. Right. Hanmund and I live together in the old Nord way. Good enough for my fa and ma, and good enough for me. Right, well... Good luck with that. Okay, now I can go and speak to that absolute idiot guard and tell him that he's been a total pillock all this time. God, I feel like Jack Bauer sorting out all of these uh, mysteries while everybody else is inept. Well Previously on Oblivion. This occurred between the hours of 1pm and 2pm. <laughs> right, in the house. Okay, so you're just chilling here with the old woman. Uh, maybe we should step outside. Oh, you're back. Fuck off! So, any new revelations in your... Mm, investigation? Shut up. Better than your investigation. Um, Gelabon. How do you know about that? Oh, too many people don't know how to keep quiet about official matters. You told me all of this stuff. The Skingrad City Watch informed us that Gelleborn was killed by Raynor not too long ago. Gelleborn was a vampire as well, obviously. <laughs> obviously. I disagree, Pillock. What do you mean, you disagree? That's a bold statement. What proof do you have that Gelleborn was not a vampire? I have his journal. I, I don't know what to say. It all makes perfect sense now. 
Why else would Reynold have removed this journal from the crime scene in Skin Graft? Because he's a good reader. I heard no mention of a key either. It must have been removed by Reynold from Braden's body before we arrived. To think that two innocent men were killed. And that I'm responsible for one of their deaths, I... I'm speaking. That's because you're a fucking idiot. I will rouse the guard and begin a search for him in the city. Meet me at Olav's tap and tack in one oh, hour. Oh, not Olav. Fuck's sake. Uh, let's have a quick word with the widow. Do you have any more questions? I'm afraid I know little more. Right, I'll tell you the crack about Gelabun. You deserve to know this. Yes, I remember Braden mentioning that name once. He was part of the brotherhood he had created with Raymond. And you couldn't tell me this yourself? Pillock? I have no idea where he'd be. Just find him and make him tell you the truth. I swear he's a liar. Oh. Punch that woman in the face. Is this the basement? I'm gonna have a, just a quick look in the basement and see what... Hopefully it's not a trap. Alright, what... Thief. Right, I thought that was gonna give me a, an improved sneak skill, but obviously not. There's the blood where the beggar was obviously stashed. Anything else? Alluring gaze. Handbill. Buying... Don't care about that. Steal. Anything else in here? Chest? For no, CBA. Okay, so... Dead body was there. I think. Even the shitty investigators could tell me that much. You be quiet. Uh. Indeed. Right, let's go. Thought I'd seen the last of this shitty old tavern, but obviously not. Oh, who who the It's you. Hi. Who are you? The Emperor and his three sons dead. <laughs> right under the Yeah, Olav, I don't care what you've got to say. We're looking for recruits. Think you're tough enough to join the fighters guild? Some nice uh, tusks there. Uh, and no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. As as beautiful as you are with your green hair and tusks, I think I'll pass. Um, I'm just gonna sit me down in my chair and uh, wait an hour for Captain Awesome to arrive. What the fuck? For Captain? Just before I arrived here, I received a report from one of our scouts watching the roads. Raynal was spotted heading west out of Bruma. The scout tried to follow, but lost him in the mountains. The only cave to the west that comes close to the one described in Gelleborn's journal is Boreal Stone Cave. That must be where he's headed. Indeed. You must get there before he acquires whatever artifact is being kept there and makes his escape. Because obviously you can't go. I'm keeping the city guard in Bruma, as Raynal doesn't know we're after him. If he sees a guard... He may panic. And obviously you guys don't have any other clothes. You're my only hope at the moment. Please, you have my authorization to do everything you can to bring him to justice. If he won't surrender, I think you know what to do. Hurry. I fear you have a day at the most to stop him. Well, we know what we've got to do now. I'm not going to waste any more words on this philistine. Please hurry. When I come back here, I'm going to punch you in your fat face, motherfucker. Okay, guys, I'm going to end this episode here, but we know what we're doing now. We're on a manhunt. We're going to chase down this guy, and we're going to stab him in the face. So I hope you enjoyed. Like, favorite, and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you in the next episode, which shouldn't be that long.